Hi, Jimmy. Can you hear me okay? How are ya? What's weather like out there? We'll give everybody a few more minutes to get on. I decided to change the design tonight. Hi, Sherry. How are you? Just a little crazy here. <laughs> the design I had picked out, someone else did, and I'm, I'm very, uh, I like to do originals, so. Hi, Amari, how are you? Yeah, it was a little cold here, too. How's my little buddy? We'll give everybody about two more minutes and then we'll start. I decided to change out the sign for another sign that says be blessed. And I went with a whole different color scheme. Hi, Grammy. I'm not a Grammy. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Mari. How are you? My original design looked too much like Lori's last bead design, so I decided to swap it out for this sign, Be Blessed, and go a whole different route. So, what I did was, I went ahead and I, we're gonna do curls on the whole wreath. I cut them at 10 inches. It's 10 inch mesh, cut at 10 inches. Hi Thelma, welcome. I guess I might as well share. Um, Casey's pregnant and possibly Tootsie's pregnant. So middle of May or middle of April we'll have a litter of puppies and a middle of May we'll have a litter of puppies. So here we go again. <laughs> Hi Gina, how are you? I was telling everybody I switched um, my design for tonight. We're going with the Be Blessed sign and we're gonna try a different route. Please share the love. I'd appreciate it if you could share. Yeah, that's one of the signs I sell in my Etsy shop. And like I said, the, the sign I had and the mesh I had, it's been done before and I didn't realize it. So there's usually a lot of my puppy moms on here. So I know they'd be interested in hearing that. And I use Blaze both times, so Tootsie's Litter will probably be all chocolate. So, should be interesting. If she's not pregnant, I'll be surprised. I know for sure that Casey's pregnant. Okay, I'll go ahead and lower, and we'll get started. Most of you who have been to my classes know the curled method. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Three colors. Thank you, I appreciate it, Melly. Um, so, I got my Bodabra to hold everything. I actually took apart a wreath I had, and, um, well, I'll show you. I had a Valentine's wreath, and I took it apart and took the pink out, and I added uh, the red or the black to it, and made a ladybug wreath. So I'm taking the pink from the Valentine's wreath and I've added it to the bee wreath for tonight because the sign does have some pink in it. And I thought pink would be a nicer color for spring anyhow. So 
here we go. All right, so I'm going to load each, each curl up. Hi, Gwendolyn. How are you? And I'm pretty sure that Carl and I are going live on um, Lori's page on Saturday night. So I'll try and make sure we have the links to that on here. So if anybody wants to see me on Lori's page, they can. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to load this wreath up with the curls, the bunches of curls. Okay, so about every, let's see, there's I think 25 bundles. So about every three, I'm going to add tails at the same time. Okay, can you guys see okay? And while I was in my shop tonight, I noticed... I had a bee. I used to make these little ribbon rattles for children. Hi, Jacqueline. So I decided we're gonna add this little bee to the to the wreath because he's so cute. All right. So how's the weather where everybody's at today? And I'm going to load them up the same sequence each time because I want that consistency in the wreath. Again, they're 10 inch wide mesh. Cut it 10 inches. Thank you. I appreciate that for sharing. If you want to be notified when I go live, uh, please type in live in the comments. The bot will ask you a question, and if you answer, then you'll be connected and you'll get uh, notified each time. At the top of the page, I also added a um, link to my Etsy shop, my Facebook page. Well, no. The, the bot for being notified, my Etsy shop, and my YouTube. And it's probably a good thing to go ahead and um, go on my YouTube channel and subscribe to it because there's a lot of times that Facebook doesn't cooperate and we have to switch over there, okay? All right, so for those just joining, say hello so we know you're here. Um, we're doing the curled method, a bundle of three, and we're just gonna keep loading this up. And then every four or so, we're gonna add tails. And we're doing a different design tonight because it seems like the design I chose has been overdone. So I got another sign, be blessed, and we're going with some different uh, tail colors. And the tails are cut at uh, 12 inches. Thank you, Mel. Say hello if you're just joining us so we know you're here. All right, so like I said, about every four or so, I'm going to add tails. Because there's only going to be one layer all the way around. Okay? my pipe cleaners in half because I don't really need a full one. I think the pollen is getting to everybody, Renee. <laughs> Especially my husband. Hi, Faye. How are you? If you're just joining, I changed the design for tonight um, because it looks like everybody's been using the same mesh for that sign, so don't really like copying. I like doing original. Hi, 
Hi, Sandra. Welcome. Hi, Vicki. Welcome. What state is everybody from? I'm just attaching them to the middle of the wreath ring, just this middle part here. Alabama, South Carolina, Louisiana. I know, the yellow really looks pretty. And I think that pink in there adds a little bit of spring to the wreath. Gonna get really full. Kansas, West Virginia. And there's a lot of people going live tonight, so. <laughs> Just share, as long as you don't mind, I really appreciate it. Piece has got to be snipped. A couple times a week I do a wreath class here, and I had some new students in class this Saturday, and boy did they make some amazing designs. Thank you, Nanette. Appreciate it. It's a 14-inch wreath frame from the Dollar Tree. Kentucky. Hi, Mary. What am I putting it in? This is actually a bow dabra. It's another way to make a bow. <laughs> I know, Mari, right? Um, you actually put your bow in here, you put a piece of wire across here in the middle, okay, and then you put your ribbon down in here, and you build your bow from the bottom up, and then you bring your wire up and wrap it that way. Hi, Jean, how are you? We switched designs tonight because that sign has been used so many times, so I decided to do something different. We're using a different sign, Be Blessed, okay? And we have a little B. I used to make these um, in the store I still, I haven't made any in a while. Now I just ruined the back. <laughs> there we go. Um, it's a little ribbon rattle. So I thought that would look cute on there. Hi, Nanny Dot. How are you? Hi, Christine. I, I'm wondering, Judy, if um, Michaels or one of them sells it. I think AC Moore does because... <laughs> This was my girlfriend's, and we did a show a couple of years ago where we made a bunch of stuff and sold it here. And I left it sitting on the chair, and I sat on it, <laughs> so I broke it. So it's all taped up, and then I went out and bought her a new one because I felt so bad that I ruined that on her. <laughs> now, I know... Probably some of my students from Saturday class are on here watching. So quit stalking. Thank you, Jean. And say hello. And it looks like for those just joining, Carl and I will be going live on Lori's page on Saturday night. So I'll try and make sure I get a, um, 
a link to that on here for you so you can watch us on her page. It's not a competition. We're just both making a different wreath at the same time on her page. How many did I do? One, two, three. So I think the next one I'll add one. Hi, Ann. How are you? Yeah, and if you if you get it there, use your coupon. And if you go online, you can get a coupon online, too. Hi, Karen. Welcome. I'm putting between four and five in each section. Hi, Clara. Welcome. Is anyone from Lori's group? Or is anyone new to wreathing? Oh, this one, I want to put the tails in. It's just easier to do it now because I'm attaching it to the underside of the wreath. Hi, Karen. Welcome. Not sure if I said welcome, Christine. And as it gets fuller, it gets a little more awkward <laughs> to work with. We got some good news in our family last week. My son got an offer on his house and he's going to be moving. His wife was involved in a bad auto accident about a year ago and the idiot that fell asleep at the wheel and hit her was driving on a suspended license. And she was in the hospital for a long time, five operations and so forth. And the guy actually lived next door. So they want to get away from him so they don't have to look at him. And it's not the first time he's caused an accident driving on a suspended license, so. This is the uh, rolled method. These are 10 inch wide mesh, cut at 10 inches. And then I'm wrapping a pipe cleaner around them and attaching it right to the frame. Because the pipe cleaner is going underneath, it would be really difficult to put the tails on after these are on. So I'm gonna do it the easy way. <laughs> Lori is hardworking mom. She is, she has several um, paid groups that um, we go over the business end. On Sundays, we do Bow Sunday where we go over different kinds of bows. Very awesome. If you go on YouTube and type in hardworking mom, you will find all her videos. And her Facebook page is called Hardworking Mom. She's very creative and has been doing this for a long time. So, thank you, Judy. It was very difficult um, because she had so many operations and she came home right at Easter time last year. Thank you, Renee, for putting that on there. Carl is one in our group, and he's going to do a wreath, and I'm going to do a wreath. I can't wait because there's a wreath I've been wanting to do, and I just kept saving it for the right time, and I think this will be the right time. Stick around, Heather. We'll motivate you. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I'm so glad you aren't hurt, Judy. Yeah, they've, they've only been married like for two years and we're getting ready to start their family and it just, it's a mess. Um, she's got all kinds of pins and rods and it'll be that way for a while. In fact, the judge even said as she gets older, it's going to hurt even more too. So... Lori is really helping me um, navigate <laughs> online all the stuff that I need to do. So I find her information invaluable. I'm actually doing a, a I'm actually in two classes with her, and I have learned so much. I cut the ribbon tails at um, 12 inches. those colors together. They really are cute. Her first name is Allison and my son's name is George. Her grandfather's house became available and they needed to sell their house in order to purchase it and they finally got a buyer so I'm just thrilled because it's really hard looking at somebody every day that doesn't understand how much they've ruined your life and they, he doesn't seem to care, so. And it's horrible, the things you have to go through the therapy and the doctors and I mean not to mention at work that she had to use her um, her sick time and her vacation time so the mesh is cut at 10 inches the tails are cut at 12 and it's 10 inch wide mesh um, I did have the label around here somewhere. I saved it just in case somebody wanted to know what kind it was. And yes, there. You're welcome. You just have to keep moving it down. Look at that though. That screams spring to me. No problem. Thank you, Judy. You could hold all these in your hand, but it's easier for me just to squish them down in there. <laughs> and putting the tails on this way, the ribbon tails, I just wanted a, a, pop, a pop of color every so often. So thank you for sharing, Carla. I appreciate it. I like to pre-cut everything ahead of time because everybody knows how to cut, so it just makes it easier. Just to go into more detail about the, the wreath.
Then I'll go back at the end when I'm done with the wreath and trim up or turn down some of these um, pipe cleaners so they don't scratch the person's store. Thank you. Hi, Marty. Marty was in my class on Saturday. I changed the direction I was going because it seems like that sign and that mesh has been done way too many times. So, hi, Jean. Not to mention everybody's asking when we're going to do the bee wreath or the ladybug wreath in class, so I thought it'd be just easy to show everybody how we were going to do it. Feeling better, Jean? Jean couldn't make it to class. That would probably help, Heather, because I know what that's like. I have trouble gripping sometimes with my hand, so it really helps me. Because a lot of people hold the one in this finger and then the next one and the next one. You didn't really miss a lot, Marty, because it's all repetition. So it's just basically I'm rolling and putting them on. It just looks that way because it's, <laughs> it's partially done. <laughs> and for those just joining, um, Saturday night it looks like I'll be going live on my teacher's page, Lori with Hardworking Mom. Carl's going to be going live too, and we're both going to be doing a wreath at the same time. So I will try and um, add the link on my page that day to her page so you won't have any trouble finding me if you want to watch. Do the birdie wings on the ribbon first. Now I can't do that if I'm holding all those ribbons or those curls. Marty made a real pretty um, Easter bunny wreath on Saturday in class. Now I just lost all the comments. And like I said, it's a good thing to go to the top of the page here and subscribe to my YouTube channel because everybody was scrambling last week when they had trouble with Facebook. So if I'm supposed to be live and I'm not on here, you're going to want to look over at YouTube. It's also great for making bows too, so it comes in handy, I think. Hi, Rita. When's the book coming out, Rita? I changed my, uh, my direction because that sign and that mesh has been overdone for, for bee wreaths, so thank you. I thought the print, the there is some pink in the sign, so it's giving it, you know, a little pop of spring color.
and I'm, I'm doing the tails at the same time and I'm doing them like every four bunches. It's done already? You already got it, Rita? You have to send me a link so I can share it. How long did you work on that? Boy, you could even take this off at another, you know, later on and, and go into summer with these colors. I was actually telling everybody I took my Valentine wreath apart, took the pink out and added the black and turned that into a ladybug one. And then I'm taking the pink from the Valentine one and adding it to this. Because let's face it, if it didn't sell the first time, I'm not holding on to it till next year to try and resell it again. And when this one's all done, I'll try and put this on my Etsy site tomorrow. Ring going on there. We don't like that. I put another one in there. Yeah. Two and a half years. Wow. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Belinda. For those just joining, we changed the design because that that sign and that mesh was overdone. So yes, I don't like copying. I like my my designs to be original. So Brenda. Casey's pregnant, Tootsie's pregnant, they're due th two, three weeks apart. Hi, I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to pronounce that. Pramela, is that how you pronounce it? Hi from India, welcome. I know, they really pop, don't they, Rita? A little stubborn now. They're a little slippery tonight. <laughs> so how many cubbies do we have on tonight? Or did everybody leave? <laughs> Reed is a cubby. Is Mel still on? Mel's a cubby. We all belong to uh, Lori's group, Hardworking Mom. Belinda, if you're around on Saturday night, you're going to have to go to Lori's um, Hardworking Mom's Facebook page. I'm going to be going live on her page with another one of the designers. See, that's really fraying. I'm not liking that. Got to trim that. There we go. I'm tying it down from the top through to the bottom. Just on the first two. I know, right? I'm so excited. Carl, another one of her students, he's going to do a wreath and I'm going to do a wreath. I 
think I have mine all figured out. I have the first stage of it and the embellishments, but I'm not sure about the second one. Hi, Jean. Welcome. Thank you, Jamie. Okay, so we did that color the last time, so let's put a B with a striped one on this one. Got to do the birdie wings. And I'm using my bow dabber to hold everything in place. Thank you. Now I'm actually, see, I'm actually doing it like every four, Jean, and I'm alternating. Like I have uh, four different colors, the pink with the yellow and black dots, the pink and then the yellow and black dots with that one, and then I have the stripe with the B. So I'm doing it like every four or five. I just want a little pop of color. And I went with the pink because there's a little bit of pink in the sign on the flower. And I did find a bee. These are ribbon rattles that I used to make on my embroidery machine. So I might use him or I might use this bee. Yes, they do. <laughs> You're right, Jean. So what's the weather like in North Carolina, Jean? Oops, we want yellow next. Thank you, Jean. Jeannie. Where's my Gigi? I don't get to see her at all. How's she doing? It's supposed to get colder here, Jean. In fact, I think two nights from now it's gone down to 17. So that's not making my husband very happy. He wants to move to Florida. And I don't. I think the bugs are bigger down there. Hi, Kathy. Welcome. If you're asking me, Rita, I'm in Pennsylvania, the middle of the state, northern central PA. We have about an acre. We have 12 chickens. I have six Yorkies. It depends, Shauna, on what I add to it. Um, this one will probably be in the $60 range due to the amount of materials and the sign and the ribbon. You do need to bring her, Jeannie. That's the deal. When you buy a puppy off of me, they have to come back for visits. <laughs> And her mama was Tootsie, wasn't it? Hi, Dawn. There's my business buddy. Welcome, Jean. You're near Bethlehem. Okay. I changed my design, Dawn. That sign and that mesh has been overdone. So we're going with Be Blessed, pulling the pink out of the sign. And I haven't decided if I'm using this bee 
or this B? Oh, you have a friend that lives near there. Okay. Yeah, we are cold. I'm still wearing jackets. <laughs> Spring is supposed to be here. So, yes, Kathy, they're done in 10 inch mesh and they're um, measured out to be 10 inches and then they're rolled. And what I actually did was there was a Valentine's wreath that I had. I don't like to store my wreaths till next year because a lot of um, designs change. So I actually took the Valentine wreath apart. I took the pink out of the Valentine's wreath and I added it to this one. And this one, I added the black to it and made it into a ladybug wreath. I actually have another bow that's gonna go up here. And I have a bunch of these now, little ladybugs and little bees. Um, because everybody wants to do them in class, so I figured I'd better stock up on bees. Now, where did my pink one go? I'll just grab another one. Oh, wow, the daffodils are about to bloom. That would be nice. Yes, with the rainforest in between, Jean. <laughs> We've gotten so much rain, it's pitiful. I don't think we had as much snow this year as we have in the past, which was kind of nice. Okay, so we got about five more, and then we can go on to the bow and figure out where we're gonna put the sign. Thank you. Don't forget, if you want to be notified when I go live, type in live in the comments. My bot will ask you to answer a question. If you just type in yes or live, it will automatically hook you up. Oh, wow. I put that that here it's gonna match up with that one so hmm I'm trying to figure out how to make it look even well you know what this will be the area then we put the bow that way we won't have any problem that way it'll look even And don't forget to share. Welcome, Donna. And I'm trying to think there's, I wanted to show you a new sign that I just made and now I can't remember where it is. It's not under the chair. I'll find it. That's the plan, Jean. I know they can, right? <laughs> I have two Jeans on here, Jean and Jean. Jean H and Jean A. Jean H is one of my students in my classes that I do from my basement. Yeah, there's, there's a couple I have planned for Memorial Day. Labor Day, you know, 4th of July, it'll work. Two 
two more. We couldn't get any more of the rectangle um, tobacco baskets. They had them on sale at Hobby Lobby. So I had to order them because we don't have a Hobby Lobby near here. Boy, I figured that out right. We have just enough. Oh, you'll have to show us a picture, Jean A. <laughs> I'd love to see it. Where are you? It's getting harder to find the end. And Jean H, we got, uh, I got bar stools. So now we have a comfortable place to sit if everybody needs to sit. I mean, we had the chairs, but they didn't work at the table. So. That's a good idea, Heather. Like I said, if they don't sell by the end of the season, then I take them apart and use them for something else. And I always, if I have a sign or whatever, I always try to make sure I put a business card on the back. Because what happens when they're taking the sign down or the wreath down? Where did I get that wreath? I forget where I got that wreath. Okay, last one. I can get it in here. <laughs> it almost reminds you of curlers, doesn't it? I probably am dating myself. <laughs> you know the curlers we used to put in our hair on Saturday nights before church on Sunday? Those pink curlers. Okay. So we got all the gaps filled in. All right, now, see I'm thinking this will fit good about right here. So where was that hole? Okay. I kind of want the sign over here and I thought I'd put the bow over here. And then, like I said, I can either put this guy here or put our other buddy here. But we'll go ahead and make the bow. I'm going to use my Easy Bow Maker. Um, it's one I got at Michael's with my 50% off coupon. That sounds really neat, Jean. A. Eh? All right. So with the Easy Bow Maker, you're starting from the bottom up. And I actually made a smaller one because I actually thought what I would do is put a smaller one up here and then a bigger bow down here. Can you see that? You like the one on the ladder, Dawn? This one here? Should I let you in on a little secret? These, um... You get these at the Dollar Tree and they hang on pots. They hang on the side of a pot. And I thought they'd be perfect. Because I got the ladybug. See the ladybugs in this one. It's just a nice little size. We'll see after we get the ribbons on which one looks best. 
but okay so I think I'm going to start with pink first I had to order them online Dawn so I'm going to go with I think about a 10 inch tail on this and probably for the bigger bow I'm going to do a 6 inch loop and I'm going to link the Lisa bow with this one make sure my my loops match a Lisa bow is actually three loops and two tails get it the same size as the other loop so I got to pull it up to there and then you tail and the easy bow actually works the same as that bow dabber does as far as being able to put it down in between these two um, little dowels to hold it in place until we're done I'll dovetail the end I get I'd say 90% of my ribbon I have a tax ID number so I get it wholesale through Sims now on to the B oh thanks nanny dot now, I'm kind of anal about the way my bees are going, so I want to make sure I get this right so the bee tail looks like it's in the right direction. I may have to cut it and attach it. And I'm going to go just a little bit um, shorter on the loop. it doesn't matter that does look okay there's some ribbon boy by the time you get the tail on there and I'm doing it backwards aren't I yep what I want to do is I want to have since I have two loops on this side and one on this side I want to do the opposite with this one so I want two loops on this side there we go it around and dovetail So we have two loops on this side, so we want two loops on that side. So we'll start over this way. Actually, I'm better off if I do it up in the air and then put it down there. It's called the Lisa Bow. Lisa Kellum's made it. Um, it's a little cattywampus. When you uh, straighten it out on here, 
you actually take your three loops and they're on one end. It's supposed to look like the head, the arms, and then the tails are like the legs. Turn this around now. I mean, basically, I'm not using the bow maker to make this. I'm basically just using it to hold it. It's getting hot down here again. There we go. So if we did the two loops on that side, we'll do the two loops on this side. And we'll go just a little bit smaller with the loop. There we go. Should have put my uh, ribbon holder over here tonight. dovetail and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna add that hound's tooth one too just gives it a little more texture um, where is it here it is I need more shelving for my ribbon yes Gina, it's called the Lisa Bow. Okay. Okay, so we want one over here and two loops over there. Just measuring them out to make sure they're about the same size. Two. So, yep, I had it the right way. Okay. Now what I do is I take a zippy tie, and I use that to hold it, and I put the wire in there, and then I'll use my fluff box to fluff it out and then I'll squeeze tighter on it. It's just an easier way to grip it, for me anyhow. Okay, come on. Yep, three loops, two tails, and you alternate. Now I'll put my wire through there, which I'm going to use two pipe cleaners because I'm getting low on my silver wire and I want to make sure that um, I have enough to do the sign. You wouldn't think they'd look those, you know, these colors would go, but with the pink in the sign, I think it really, um, really looks good. I hope I didn't tie it too tight so I can't get this through. Okay. We'd have to go through and pull it through. There we go. Come on. There we go. Okay. This 
was my fluff box that my husband made me for Christmas. And I absolutely love it. It just holds everything in place while I fix the bow. Fluff it up. Okay. So, we want to alternate everything. So, like I said, we want the loops up here to look like the head and the two arms, and then the tails to go down the other way. So there's your head, and there's one arm, and there's another arm. So then on the next level, we're going to do it opposite. We'll get the loops on this side. <laughs> exactly. And then the loops on this side. Then the next layer is this one. So let's get the arm over here, the head, the other arm, and the two legs. Then we go to our yellow level. Want them over here. And again, I'm just placing everything for right now. I'm going to tighten it up when I'm done and cut that. So have any of you made a bow this way? I didn't st start selling Reese that much until I got the bow maker, so it has um, added to my designs for sure. I know some people don't like to use the bow maker, but I think it gives the bows consistency. Okay, now unhook it. I've just been rolling with the punches today. <laughs> At least my phone is not popping off this stand. I had to rubber band it. <laughs> okay. Then we'll just tighten this a little tighter so it'll hold the pipe cleaner in place. There we go. And then we'll just snip it. Now, where was that empty spot? It was about right here. So, now let's see if we can go down through all this stuff. Don't go away, little bee. that. I got it. Woohoo! I actually like the pipe cleaner versus the wire. The wire is a lot harder to do. Even though it's, if you don't see it as much. Okay. I'll just fluff it out a little bit. I think I need to move it just a little bit more. Up towards the middle of the wreath.
so I need to pull this way. There. Now it's getting stuck on that one. Let's move this. There. I think that's better. What do you think so far? Thank you, Carol. Like I said, I don't like copying. It's not copying. I just don't like using the same materials. I prefer to do my own thing. All right, so we got that there. Now we can work on, and I'll end up fluffing this a million times before I even take a picture of it to post it. Don't forget, if you want to be notified when I go live, type live in the comments. Thank you, Rita. All right. So I'm thinking right about there. Next, I'm building an easel because it's just so much easier when you have it at the angle. You're going to be looking at it. Actually, I think right about there. And I'll get that tied down. Same with me, Jean A. It's funny, I can be watching something and then I just... A, a color design like I'll pop in my head or you know all right so well I guess I need to take the wrapping off first and again make sure you put your business card on the back because when they take it off the door they're gonna want to call you again for their next one can tell I've been in direct sales because nothing went out the door without your your business card on it or your phone number Be the fun part. It's not where I wanted it, it's where I found a hole. Then when it asks you a question, Renee, just type in yes or live, and uh, you'll be notified every time I go live. And at the top of the comments, I added the links to my, um, my YouTube channel and my Etsy store. It would probably be a good idea to go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel because Facebook's been full of hiccups lately. And the one week everybody ended up on Facebook because, or on YouTube because their live wasn't working. So if, if I say I'm going to be live, it's either going to be here or YouTube. So, and then I'm going to put another one down here, another piece of wire. I'm not going to do all four corners because. The way I've got it positioned, it should stay. I 
And I'm not sure if I have this sign. I know I have a few B signs in my Etsy shop. I know there's a bunch of seashell ones, horse ones. I listed a bunch the other day. And I finally organized my, uh, my Etsy shop too. I have all my wreaths together. There's been a lot of traffic to my Etsy site and now everybody's buying doggy car seats. I make custom doggy car seats. So I've been busy with that. Shake test, you're right. That's what I do at the end. And these signs are made in USA, and they really hold up well. I like the MDF ones, but I just don't feel they're, they're watertight. I know I seal them, but I don't know. I like buying something made in the USA every now and then. Okay, so we got our sign down. I'll fluff this bow again. And then I think we'll put this bow up here. It's just a little smaller version of this one. Then we'll see um, we'll see what looks best, whether he looks best or he does. And I think I'll make a little bow just to go over top of that. Um, let's see. I don't think I want that, no. Maybe just this one to go over top of that, yeah. So I'll get this secure. And actually, I think I'm gonna go down through this, the corner of the sign, no. That might, no, because that'll push it way over there. I don't want it all the way over there. You guys can all come watch me on Lori's channel on Saturday night. Carl's an awesome designer. So it should be fun. He's very meticulous in his work. He does a really nice job. So then I'm going to use this to kind of cover that hole up. this to go over this way some. Right. And we'll make our bow just to cover that hole. Let's see. I think it's it's Robin's Rethree and Yorkie and Robin's Yorkie stitches. There's a link at the top, Alyssa. At the top of the comments, you'll find the link that takes you right there. Um, okay, let me just repost it for you then. There. See, it says Etsy, Etsy.com slash shop slash Robin's wreath and stitches. That's it. bugs me when these don't go the way I want them to go. And that's a little too long. I'm going to have to fix that one. There. All right. So Lori was showing this to us the other day. You actually take it and fold it in half. Okay. You bring this down, not quite to here, like three quarters of the way. 
pinch it again and fold it. Then what you're going to do is bring it back up. You're going to overlap your loops and then push this down on itself. And then pinch it like that and you've got a bow, a small bow. See? And then I'm going to put that right on top of that and I think I will use a black pipe cleaner because I think that will hide this. Now, I know I have a little one here. I thought I had a little one here. I'll get another one. In fact, I think these tails are too long, so Gonna shorten those. <laughs> it just it just hides that little hole. Just to spruce it up a little. Gives it, I think, a more finished look. And that's what I did on the ladybug one. See, and then I can fluff it up a little more. So this has to be tied a little bit tighter. There we go. So do that. I'll shorten this because I think this is too long. I really think this guy is, I don't know. What you think, him or him? What I usually end up doing is taking one of these off so he can lay flatter. And then that just hooks around and then I usually end up putting another little piece of wire down through the hole. So him or him. Little guy on the ladder, Jean? Little one. Okay. That's the one we'll do. And then I have to get out two zip ties because I'll show you how I, um, how I put a hanger on the back of my wreaths. I think I'm actually going to take this up just a little bit higher and take this one off. And then use this. And actually, I guess that'll work. Actually, I think maybe a brown pipe cleaner might work better because the brown will, uh, the ladder is brown and it will disguise it a little better. You pull one pipe cleaner out and they all come out. And this I can use a half a one. I don't need to use a whole one. I can slide them over just a little bit. There we go. I, I know, Gina, I got, um, it actually had frogs, it had owls, it had bears, it had bumblebees, and it had ladybugs. I bought a whole case. 
There we go. I still have to fluff up the bow a little more. But let me show you what I do with the back, okay? I will go and twist all these down, okay? But now my top of the wreath was here, all right? So I take one zip tie here. Come on. There we go. And if I use this, it sometimes flops back and forth, so I use a second one. When I get the second one attached, then I tighten the first one. And see how it lays? And then I trim. There we go. I got the wreath hanger now. So when it goes to the person's house, it's all ready for them, prepared to hang on their door. Ooh, that got smashed. So how we look? Shake test. Not going anywhere. Yes, the turtle's really cute. I have them all here. bear. Flower pot huggers, they're called. Thank you, Rita. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Jean H. So, next wreath class will either be the ladybug wreath or the bee. So you have a choice of either one. And I think it really looks nice with the, uh, the um, pink in there. Makes it look a little more springy. Thank you, Kathy. Does anybody have any questions? I put that in there for you, and then I never hit send. <laughs> so there you go. There are all the links. The first one's to my bot. Or no. Yeah, the first one's to my bot, second one's Etsy, Facebook page, and then then um, YouTube. Thank you, Gina. Does anybody have any questions? I hope you all can make it on Saturday night to uh, Lori's site. It should be fun. Like I said, Carl's an awesome designer. So, and I'll play with this for a while. I'm trying to think if there's something I can show you. I still can't find that sign. It, um, I have it on a big um, tobacco basket, and it says, Home is where the crickets sing. Yeah, I do. Here it is. I got tobacco baskets everywhere. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to decorate this one yet. But isn't that a beautiful sign? I made this on my uh, brother scan and cut. It's kind of like a cricket. I think, Gina, I think it's at 9 on Saturday night. Sherry, um, so you can just hit the link. If you, if you go and like hardworking mom, her Facebook page, that's where it's going to be. Um, it's all going to be done on a Zoom call. Lori will be on in the beginning with both Carl and I, and then she'll back out, and then I'll be on one side of the screen, he'll be on the other side. And I'm not sharing what I'm making. I think it'll be fun. I, I'm sure it's going to be 9 o'clock. So, any questions? 
And if you think of something afterwards, don't hesitate to send me a, a message. I'll be sure and answer your questions. Okay? All right. I guess I'll see you all soon. And again, I'll be back here on next Monday. Okay? All right. Thank you. Good night.